Hello everybody. Welcome to the Cycle Cart Workshop. I wanted to do a little update in between our build days. Uh, we're going to be building two days from now, today's Friday, on Sunday morning. We're going to be back at it. Uh, but I'm doing a preliminary, some preliminary work, um, some mock-up work with some cardboard. And basically, uh, what we want to do is try to, you know, on Sunday is weld some steel components that create the hoop at the radiator, at the cowl, and the seat back. So I'm making some cardboard mock-up components to rough this out uh, because it's kind of an art project at that point. Let me show you how I make the divider. Okay, so I want to work on a cardboard mock-up here of the body, shape of the body. So I need to create a template for the, right at the radiator, one at the cowl, and one at the seat. And um, this template, we'll, we'll make it out of cardboard uh, so we can get a good look at the lines of the car, make sure it's what we want it to be. So I'm going to make the cowl piece of cardboard. I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So I have my piece here. I determined that it needs to be 16 uh, wide by 25 high. I've split it down the middle with a line. I've determined that the radius, this radius here, starts at about 7 inches down or so. So let's see here. Let's put a mark at 7. In the market seven. Okay. So at this point in time, I'm going to draw one half of the arc. And this is where the arc comes in. You might have to erase it a couple times, but it's basically a round, a round shape. Gee, that looks pretty good. I think I'll go with that. Okay, so now that I have that shape. I'm going to cut it. I'll use the razor blade. bad of a shape. I like that. So then I take a piece of uh, regular old uh, copy paper and I put it under here. And I have these two reference lines so I make a mark here and I make a mark there and then I trace it. Okay, so now I line up my reference line here and over here. All right, and then I trace it. And then I cut it out. You can see where I'm going with this. This is the initial pattern, cardboard template. Usually, uh, when I'm making these parts, uh, the cardboard is my first attempt, then I make a better second mock-up, and that's the one I build from. Because you figure out there's little changes you want to make, so it's hard to get it right the first time. So you can see, not bad. That looks pretty good. It'll be a little bit smaller version for the radiator, and uh, we'll use the same radius for the seat back, which is slightly wider, but we can still use this. All right, so next I'll show you some work I've done on the car and I've made some progress. So we'll go to that. So here I've made some progress with the mock-up. I still have a ways to go, 
I haven't really figured out this rear side yet, but I've been focused on the front. And uh, I made these little things here just to hold these panels upright. Use some hot glue. Here's the one I made for the radiator. And you can see the shape's pretty good. Coming along. These gaps here will all get covered by metal. And there's a piece up here also, that, a piece of aluminum. And the radiator will be six inches deep. Yeah, I think that looks okay. That gives you a general idea of how it's going to be, and we can fine-tune it from there. So using this adjustable angle tool here, <coughs> I put it on my other cycle carts, and that's the angle of the seats. So I'm using that to set this angle, and I've got these little gussets here. I've been heating up some glue here. And it's not quite ready yet. It's getting warm. So my goal here is to have the, the back at the top in line with this brace, this cross brace. making some progress here. This, uh, of course, is the front of the seat. You'd put uh, foam on here. Uh, this could be plywood or metal. I usually put a one-inch piece of foam on the back for the backrest. Um, this right here represents the line of where the rear cover splits away from the cycle cart so you could service the engine and axle. So this right here, this surface, this is important because you climb into the cycle cart and you sit here and then you scoop down into the car. So this can be two to three inches. Let me show you on the BMW how that worked out. On the BMW, it has a similar arrangement. This is three inches. Here's your seat back. I used a piece of three quarter inch plywood here and then foam. And I had an upholsterer cover it so it turned out nice. And you can see this is where the rear cover splits away. This upper part is fiberglass. It comes away. The bottom half here below this line is aluminum. And you can see how the body line lines up with the axle. And uh, on the Samson, it's moved up here a little bit. Same theory though. It gives you a place to sit so that you can scoot down into the car. And while I'm here, you see that yellow tape? That's the kind of tape you wrap around a hockey stick. If the axle ever moves, I'll be able to tell just by looking at that tape. It'll get scrunched up. So that's a little safety feature. Here I've added these lower pieces on both sides. And I've taped it down here and here. And now I'm going to use poster board, which is much easier to wrap, for this section here. It just so happens that this is long enough that it'll wrap completely over. I just need one strip that's three and a half inches. I got this poster board at Walgreens. It's 28 by 22.
So I've got a strip three and a half. So I'll start right here and I'll just wrap around and I'll trim it off. That'll finish that off real nice. Okay, I set the engine up here. It's pretty much where it's going to be. I need it there so I can mock up this rear section. Um, here's a piece of cardboard I'm going to use. And um, the thinking is that the exhaust is going to exit the, the rear cover through the aluminum. So that means the line of the uh, fiberglass will be up here. So from here down will be aluminum. So that's what I'm going to mock up now with cardboard in here is aluminum. Let's see. Let's go uh, ten and a half inches. See where that falls. Yeah, that'll be okay. I'm going to start with ten and a half inches. I'll uh, cut some strips here. And uh, uh, I didn't mention it, but the body the outer skin of the body sits on top of the chassis. It doesn't actually go down in to the frame. Here I've cut some strips, ten and a half inches, and taped them here. And the line is above the exhaust pipe, which will come out through here. I may raise that up a little bit, I don't know. But this is way too long. Uh, but if I just pull it together for the sake of argument, you can see how there's going to need to be some clearance for the torque converter and then a cutout for the air cleaner. And then the uh, pull cord can be reoriented to come out right here instead of up here, although that would work too. All right, let me uh, fiddle with this a minute. So we look at the plans for guidance here. Um, we're making little adjustments along the way, but generally speaking, we're looking at about a 35 inch distance from the body seam here, which is the back of the seat section I just made, to the end 35 inches plus or minus. Um, it appears that uh, the, the, the end of the tail is roughly 12 inches beyond the chassis. There's six inches here, and that's another six inches. So, and then it appears to be about a foot of overhang also here. So, let's, um, let's play around with the cardboard a little bit and see how close that, that is. One thing of note is the cardboard in this piece, the ribs are running up and down so it's easy to create a curve. But on all these other components, the ribs are running this way for strength. Same thing here, they're running up and down, so it keeps the panel stiff. And then they're running this way also. I'm happy with the progress on this. I taped it right here flush. This represents the skin. Then I made a little cutout so that you can get to the fuel shut off and choke and we could enlarge this so you could get to the pull cord too. We'd have to reorient it and we could move it up here also. Um, there's adequate room over here. Uh, from what this is telling me the body needs to be straight up until about the clutch right about here and then it can start to curve. The engine is slightly offset to the, to the right from this perspective so it's a little more snug on this side. Right now I'm three inches in on each side of the chassis. So that centers up. There'll be a block here made of balsa or maybe a fiberglass. Not quite sure yet. 
Um, it ended up being 12 inches beyond here, which worked out according to the drawings. Um, from this point to here is 34, add an inch for a little cone, a tail cone shape, and that's 35, so that worked out. Now I'm going to focus on these two side panels. So I cut a piece 15 by 36, I taped it here, and I'm going to trace it here. I'll do that for both sides, and then I can work on the shape. I have the side pieces taped in place and my goal now is to interpret this shape on the drawing and try to transfer it over to the cardboard. So let's work on that now. Checking the math, it appears uh, from my calculations that from the top of the chassis to this point right here would be five and a half inches. So there's my five and a half inch mark. I'll start with that. All right, well, this is the shape I'm going to go with. That's my interpretation of the drawing and the photo. So I'll cut it out and uh, use it to make the other side. I'd say it's starting to look like a cycle cart now. Adding those side panels made a big difference in the body lines. Um, I'm almost done with the mock-up. I just need to uh, string a couple pieces of cardboard to emulate the rear cover and then we'll call it good. I am happy to report that the cardboard mock-up is finished. It's good enough for uh, us tomorrow as we start the fabrication of the substructure that will hold the aluminum skin. All right, so that's the end of this update. Keep an eye out in the next few days for the next update. Uh, we should have a good build day tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.